Hello. 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 Oh, hi. Hello. 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 How are we doing? We're doing very good. What's up? And welcome to Amsterdam. <laughs> we are just about to kick off for the semi-finals in Amsterdam. And this is everybody's chance to purchase their ticket to the games. I don't think I can relax at all. Uh, this is the only chance to get the ticket. So if you don't get the ticket, your season is done. And that's not good for anybody. Rock and roll. Whose laundry is this? This is Sarah's laundry. She uh, asked me to clean her clothes. I have no idea why. And now we're going into check-in and I have to be with this. Travel with this. Kommer det blåbärja kupp jag där? Jag kan inte det bara. Ja, okej. Nej, det är gott skott. Okej. Doing some interviews for this event and then for Miles Madison. Who do you think likes interviews more, you or Björgen? I don't know. The goal for the year? Yes. What is it? I'm gonna win the Lowland CrossFit Championships and then I'm gonna win the games. Would you rather have had Janikowski was here than Ooh, being in, good question. Than Lazar? Uh, no, I wouldn't want to have Janik here. <laughs> like, why would I? I'm trying to punch my ticket to the games. Would so you like to say what's inside? I'd love to, I'd love to say it. Show you. Packaging, it's all in the detail, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, towel. Yeah. It was actually great. A little towel thingy. And then uh, some lollies. Oh, you so can't I'm, have them. Lollies is candy. Yeah. Ah, candies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. lollies. Nice. What do you call the liquor normal. store? Bottle O. Ha. Huh. Gotta go to the bottle O. <laughs> yeah. Gotta go to the bottle O. But now, take bottle these. Oh, Beaksy, do you reckon this will fit in your bag? Yeah. yeah. Thanks, brother. I met Bjorgen Kart in 2012. I think when he outsnatched me. I had been the king of Iceland for a long time. And then this little boy from Kvirageri came and uh, took the crown. And he's kept it ever since. So that's for a good 10 years. He's the guy to beat in Europe. Uh, he's been that for a while, but I think he's, he's the guy that everybody else looks to. You know, they know that if they want to win, they got to beat him. I had to fill it out on a 2009. You guys work here to facilitate all the hard work that you put into to show us what you've got. Nighttime shake, as always. Spinach, chocolate, um, protein, the good old peanut butter, date. And the key ingredients, do you know what that is? It can mess with your anger if you take too much of it. <laughs> Joke. <laughs> it was funny. I was like, mm, maybe I should start eating, you know, because I didn't want to make like skier balls anymore. I needed to come up with this new uh, evening recipe. And I literally went on Google, I googled nighttime shake, pressed the first button, and this was it. And I'm not even joking. Spinach, dates, peanut butter, protein, ice. And I bought this blender here in Amsterdam. I have one at home that's very powerful. I think it's like 3.5 horsepower <laughs> or something. And this one is like barely getting through the dates. You can just hear it. Doesn't want to go through the dates. Yeah. Fuck it. <laughs> what the hell? Don't buy Dutch blenders. And then the milk was cool. And I'm trying to eat more. I just noticed how much toll I eat. It's unbelievable how much eats. We were downstairs an hour, like 30 minutes ago, and I was asking, like, is anyone gonna have another meal? And he was like, yeah. I have one in like 20 minutes and then another one in like 90 minutes. So I'm trying to keep up. Like if you want to hit anything close to his numbers, then this has to go down. Look at the slices. It's big. I have to wash. <clears throat> Man, wow. I was looking at uh, 2016 games or something. Yeah, it was still in, in Los Angeles. And my outfit is so... Terribly wrong. It's so bad and I look like an absolute clown out there. I need someone to tell me what to wear. Just gonna clean up here. I'm gonna go to the beds. Put a nice movie on. Maybe parts of the Caribbean one. Uh, one of my favorites. And then it's just go time tomorrow.
It's uh, Friday morning uh, around 10 o'clock. We're just watching the Torian Pro guys go for the uh, event two or the rope climb event. The team is about to head to the venue shortly. It's just having breakfast, head to the venue, start warming up gently, and then uh, BK is not asleep but still in bed, I think, in the other room. So he's doing a good job. Five minutes of big blow after. I don't know how many hours I slept, probably nine, nine and a half. It's a good start, just ready to kick it off. What about stress levels right now? They're rising. <laughs> Seven out of ten. Ten out of ten in about uh, an hour. Ég veist ekki hvað, ég var alltaf þessu um hraða Hann var bara hefur aldrei prófað eitthvað, nei Á, ok, ég keftið mitt í febrúar Það var 441 on the first run and 518 on the second run Já Já, mér, þetta er mjög mjög skeppti með það veður Það er að við hefum gott að rúða Það er að við hefum gott að rúða Það er að við hefum gott að rúða Já, svo nú þeir hefur þessi nýju assault runner or with this new, um, what do you call, yeah, I mean, what do you call the new? Solar. Yeah, but, so, oh, new software. New software yeah. yeah, it has a new software. So I wasn't like quite sure if I, was go if I was going too fast or too slow. So I needed to just adjust, you know, in the moment a little bit and run was just such a big part of the workout. So I was informing Sara about that, that she could possibly run 1.5 to 2 kilometers per hour faster than she actually d uh, does in training. I'm also asked often like what's your go-to cheat meal that <laughs> there's something about people asking about cheat meals I don't know like but if I would have to say anything it would probably be just not to eat so I'm just gonna enjoy not eating after the competition I don't really need a cheat meal I need to get a pass from eating what's the one food that you can always always eat bagels there's butter um, and cheese I don't need the jam or anything like I don't like jam Fucking hate jam. Just to top it off, <laughs> two fried eggs. Bagel and two fried eggs. Need the protein. I love protein. Where do you want to be on the leaderboard tomorrow? Absolutely on top. There's, uh, yeah, got some work to do. For today's outfit, first we'll be doing chest to bars, double thrusters. And uh, probably boxy balls, so I'm just gonna. Maybe this is dry now. Yes. Virus, shorts, compression. Maybe I should, should ask Betty. Betty, what ball are you fighting in? I know what I'm going to do. Quit the soccer, quit the ballers. What's the soccer? What's the soccer? It's like a blower. I know. It's just a fighter in. Go!
never stop my crowd is crazy. I saw you before you went for that lift. Look over to the crowd, I assume to your coach Yami, putting up your hands, deciding what weight you're going to lift, but didn't make that decision until Adrian Mundweiler went? Was that the case? How did you come to the decision of the 143? Yeah, well, I've put me in a position now that uh, I need to be thinking about what I'm doing because I'm you know, not secure then the weekend, this is the fourth event of the weekend. So um, yeah, basically whatever Adrian was going to hit, I was going to match that. Or luckily he didn't make that 145 and I could go lower and hit 143. So that's like a PR for me. I think I hit 140 in practice, but you know, with the crowd here, fucking amazing. What's that like for you, for someone with your experience to be going into the final day not in a secure position? Uh, well, I am very known for this uh, kind of situations, uh, both at the games and here at the regionals. Uh, but I would prefer not to uh, do this again. So I've, I'm hope hopefully this will like put me in a little better position than after the event this morning. You know, I feel like this documentary is it's just about how I fucked up the regionals. Finally, when we are documenting the regionals. No, I'm joking. Uh, I got some no reps on the third event today, furious about it. For whatever reason, I got a bunch of no reps and I usually don't get no reps. And I take it personally if I get no reps. It's not like I know or anything. Like I am really just, I really always try to focus on moving uh, well and give the judges no like point of giving me no reps and stuff. I was pretty frustrated all day, I think. But what I'm proudest of is being able to enter the venue for the clean and jerk event and you know not think about the other one that's actually hard i mean that's very hard to pull yourself together when you feel like the world is against you but the atmosphere was great at the venue i needed the crowd with me and the little and a little bit of uh Islandic together you know? <laughs> yeah Icelandic madness what was the feeling coming out of that event compared to other events this weekend relief more than anything, you get a little bit of the feeling Ah, oh, yeah, okay, th th this is why I'm doing it, doing it. Because in the previous th three events, I feel like I just didn't perform very well or it was an okay performance, but like things didn't really fall my way in a, in a sense, you know what I mean? Um, <clears throat> you know, I started too slow in the last class, you know, there's just like almost like a little bit of rookie mistakes. I don't know if that's because I haven't been competing or because I got very, very sick a month ago. <laughs> you know, like a bunch of things that come into place, but you've got to be able to like pull that aside and just perform. And sometimes you just need one event to get the momentum going. So how's your self-talk looking coming into the last day of the competition? What a fucking loser you are. <laughs> no, I think just two events more. Was there some seriousness to this? No. Are you, are you harder on yourself? Yeah. Very. I think it's okay be, to be hard on yourself when you deserve to be hard on yourself. Like, if you didn't do like what you wanted, then why would you be soft on yourself? Or why would you compliment yourself? I try to be hard on myself, but I also understand that this is the past. It's okay to be frustrated if, so, if things don't go your way. But then it's just time to move on and forgive yourself. Yeah, there's basically nothing in my way of just great performances tomorrow. Just gotta pull it. Pull through. <laughs> Look at you. I'm so proud of you, buddy. Good job. How do you like it? You did a good job. I think you could hit 150 on a good day. Yeah. You said that also. You didn't need to, but no, that was good. you did a good job. Yeah. Are you watching the... I was just watching. Are you watching? I expected to do a bit better on the legless. I expected I to do... I think on the legless, I think you were just a little conservative. Yeah. Yeah. And then on the... I was just got fucked over. This oh, the burpee one. Yeah, yeah. This morning. The thrusters. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good job. Yeah, thanks. I'll see you tomorrow. You too, guys. At 140. Yeah, you know. I think you can hit 150. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you didn't even adjust it yourself. Stood up again and then no, went. You it. just Let's like adjust it, snatched. <laughs> <laughs> Once the hands are on, we're ready to go. Yeah. <laughs> Final day of competition. 
How's the body feeling? Uh, it's sore in many places. What about the mind? Where is your head at? It's good. It's in a better place now than earlier in the weekend. It was nice to finish on a high yesterday. Mood, like mood swings are like always like just in my life. It's not just uh, in in a competition. You know, it's on a daily basis basically. So I'm not a very flat person. I'm pretty good at you know, um, you know, taking those emotions and and putting them aside when I'm competing. I think it's also just important to just allow yourself to be frustrated for 5, 10, 15 minutes. You know, because why would I hide it? Then it's just gonna sit underneath there and, and you know what I mean. So, um, yeah, just like get it out of the system, be frustrated and then just move on. So Sarah thought that you were a bit of a gangster on the bike? Yeah, I don't know why everyone is saying that. I just know how to bike. I'm not doing anything special. And every time I do this, they're like, how the fuck is that possible? And I like the approach of going a little bit more aggressive on the bike than you would do under normal circumstances yeah. because you are so efficient on the yeah. arm muscle ups. And we don't want to pull the same as we did on event one. No. Like leave anything in the tank. Like no. we just have to go there. Yeah. Like that's a mistake on me and Yami's behalf, which I've obviously told you to go faster because you never fail a Nicholas Rope climb, right? You no. just push the push the pace a little bit. What are you gonna go? go? Fuck this event up. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna go home. I'm gonna spend next week in the garden. Put some bushes down. Mon the lawn. You know what? You feel me? Yeah, I just I, like I, be I, one of those, like just sitting on the balcony and just wander the mountains. Last one. What's going through your mind? Don't fuck anything up. Do it like you practiced and. Take advantage of good gymnastic skills. Okay, I'm going to get it out of
I want to get my hopes up. Okay, and the end been training with Berkman for many years now and I know exactly what he is capable of. Um, finishing second uh, in a competition like this, it is a strong field, but he does not see himself as the second best athlete in Europe. He wants to be the best. Uh, that being said, this is just a stepping stone to the bigger goal. Uh, nobody's going to remember who won the semi-final event that made you qualify for the finals. The only thing that matters is where he stands in the first week of August in Madison. He, of course, is a really proud athlete. He wants to show what he's capable of. There was a couple of missteps early on in the weekend that we would have liked to not see happen. Um, some of those things were out of his control. Uh, others were within his grasp uh, to make uh, a different outcome. But at the end of the day, I think it just leaves a little bit of uh, a fire in his stomach to go out and prove that he is as good as we know he is and as he know he is.